Hey everyone, we are back with another What's Sold on eBay. My beautiful wife trying to find out which side was better so she could use that for the thumbnail. So she's not yeah, she uh, like... showing off her bad side, I guess. So she's trying to figure it out. I think she has both sides that are oh, beautiful. Oh, I have cookie on this side, so now like a Well, people squirrel. know that you uh, are <laughs> sponsored by the Fudge Stripe Cookies. Look guys, I got the fun size pack so that I limit myself. Mm -hmm. And it's only 140 calories. So, she loves those cookies. We are not sponsored by them. It's funny because be it says in large show texture, but the cookie is about the same size as that. So, it doesn't even make sense. Anyways, most of you are here for reselling. <laughs> this is a weekend sales update video. <laughs> Might be a little plain Jane for some of you, but we're going to go over what sold this weekend. How many sales did we have, babe? Uh, this weekend we had 39 sales. 39 sales for? For a total of $13.98, guys. We're so, we are so close. We get it 40 sales for 1400 Which should be good. I That'll was hoping awesome. we'd have one by now. We have a couple hours left in the day, though. Uh, just to be clear, Friday was a huge day for us, which was yeah. cool because we sold like $700, a couple of big items. And then we were going out and, of course, spent a lot of money that day. So it kind of was nice to have some money coming in. We went out to dinner with the kids and uh, went shopping for clothes, but didn't find any for me. But we still spent a lot of money on other junk. It's not junk. Not junk, guys. Anyways, most of you probably and know. Tori got her ears pierced this weekend, guys. I'll try to put a picture up here, but she got her ears pierced this weekend, too. So She's sleeping right now. It's been a busy weekend. Uh, a lot of fun. Cute. We got her some real little diamonds. She's spoiled. She's spoiled like her mom. Anyways, again, we'll get back on topic. Uh, let's <laughs> go with the first item that sold this weekend. It's probably that CD. because yeah. This is called Death Row Records. Um, it's a box set that's supposed to have a DVD. It does not have the DVD. It has the two CDs, though. And it sold for $25 shipped. This one was sold like two weeks ago. The guy told me he would pay in two weeks, which normally I would be like, whatever, but he was super nice. And he actually did pay when he said, so okay. had a good feeling about him. That was a dollar at a garage sale. This one also sold, I think on Thursday, but they finally paid on Friday. And this is a Mountain Hardware Windstopper jacket. It is a size large and it sold for $40. Always shipped. a good brand, a good outdoor brand. Doesn't sell for a ton of money, but always seem to be pretty solid. Here's one of my go-tos. I don't know, I know there's a couple people that sell wooden rackets in big lots. Uh, I forgot what his name is. Show Me Pickers is his name. He used to be Nevermore Antiques, I believe. Um, I like to watch him. He sells wooden rackets and lots too, like I do. We sold 13 of these for, right, 13? <laughs> yeah, $157.49. Going global shipping. I don't know why global people would pay so much to ship these, but whatever. Yeah, they're, I mean, some of them are in good condition. But some of them you can see they need to be... Have these I don't know. I think they're going to be them. decorative. Most I always yeah. put like decoration, and a lot of times I'll sell them to Vegas. Oddly enough, I don't know why. Yeah, it but, looks like the enamel on here. Isn't it? Um, but we got. I just get random random ones for a dollar or two at a garage ones. sale. It's usually the most I pay. A lot of them together. Shipping's not too bad if you just alternate them. You can fit them in a nice box. That one still has a price tag, a two dollar. So I got to get that one off. Um, that's usually the max I'll pay though. Yeah, goodwill. that's Goodwill. So there's some cool ones in there though. I, every once in a while I'll pay three if I'm getting closer to completing a set because I want to just get them out of here. Yeah. But that was a pretty good one, one of our big sales. Next up we have one of those um, routers, the modems. Um, and this one is the EN2251, a basic one. This is through Spectrum, I believe. I'm and not really supposed to sell Spectrum stuff, so I don't usually put it in the title. No, don't put it in the title. Um, but it did sell for $28 shipped. So. Super easy, they're light. That just came in a box of like electronics and cords and there was like a DVD player in there and they just threw that in so I just listed it, so. Did you get the PS4? Oh, I did not. You can go to the next one. So the thing that Cameron's looking for is something I asked him to grab and he didn't. It is a Sony PS3 motion controller. You know, these ones, it's like, it looks like a low pill. Well, a big pill. Like a horse pill. That's the problem. That's why I couldn't find it. Because it's not in the video game stuff. You know, where it's supposed to be. But anyways, while he's looking for that, next up we have this cool sale. It got mixed up with the remotes. Oh, there it is, guys. These always sell, still navigation remotes. $19 shipped. You can sense the love in Linda's voice when she yelled at me that it wasn't where it's supposed to be. Next up, we have this cool pack right here of over 120 vintage Muscle Men action figures. Do you want to know what Muscle Men were? No, but it looks like Muscle stands for something because it's M.U.S.C.L. 
I don't C know if it's dot L dot e dot. <laughs> but I watched a video and someone sold these years ago and I've never found them. And then one day at storage unit guys sale, I found a they're whole weird. bunch of they're them. They're weird. They're like, they're little guys. And they're, um, there are some, are the auction professor, I forgot his name. I don't really watch him that often, but um, he did a video about these. There are certain ones that sell for good money. We did not have any of these. are all pretty much commons. A lot of them together. And what do we sell them for? $175, guys, right there. Yeah. Probably throw that in a padded flat rig and send it off. That was one of our big ones this weekend, along with the rackets. Uh, but you can see why Friday was a good day for us. Yeah. A lot of these big items went through. Next up, we have this DVD. Is it a scary one? Yeah, I think so. Oh, this might be a horror one. It's not from the a horror. A chilling stud study of evil, totally mesmeric. I think that would probably be horror, given the evil. This is called The Bad Seed. Yeah. And it sold for $10 shipped. Just easy, easy money there. Another rug. This well, is a vintage uh, mushroom print latch hook rug. It is already completed. It is 27 inches by 20 inches and it sold for $30 shipped. And I paid a dollar for that in a state sale. I wouldn't think that those, and Linda even wondered, she goes, why would those things sell if they're completed? But I saw that certain patterns will sell well if they're completed. The mushroom print from the 70s and 80s, for whatever reason, seems to be something people like. You know. All those shroom heads out there, whatever they're called, I don't know. <laughs> um, anyways, uh, yeah, so it might want to be something to keep an eye out for if you see it. And then we've got Iron Eagle, the DVD, and it sold for 10 and a half shipped, and it's marked rare, guys. Ooh. Linda doesn't like the word rare. <laughs> it doesn't make sense. No. Uh, Wayward Angel. There you go. This is a Wayward Angel, a full story of the Hell's Angels. Fun fact, I used to live down the street from one. He was scary and he carried a knife that was this big down the side of his leg. It was crazy. And that sold for $9 shit, but he was super nice. Well, just because he's a knife doesn't mean he's a bad person. No, he protected the neighborhood. He's See? a super nice guy. Just misunderstood. <laughs> <clears throat> and now we've got an Indio High School yearbook. I don't know how to pronounce that. I don't want to say it wrong, so I won't. And that is uh, from 1967 Raja. and it sold for $36 shipped. We love our yearbooks. You should see our stack over there. We have a whole stack. They don't sell that often or frequently, but when they do, it's usually pretty easy money because I don't pay a whole lot. And the next up, we've got a Fleetwood Mac songbook. This one's a little rough. It is a little rough. From 1978. Okay. And it sold for 13 and, a, and some change. Okay. All next right. up, we have one of these. We have a lot of these, apparently, that aren't listed. No. Um, Okay, and there's one that a quantity needs to be updated. She really overstates the extent of how many we have. Yeah, but it's even worse when it's sitting right there in front of your face and you just have to look at it all the time as it just sits there. Anyways, this is a shark navigator, the filter and the grill for it, so you can replace that and make it look nice. And it sold for $17 shit. We've been partying on a lot of shark vacuums. I used to not mess with them, but I've been doing really well in little parts right now. We have, I think, another part to show you too from a shark. Mm -hmm. Next up, we got this Reebok Saints jersey, number 25, Reggie, Reggie Bush. Bush, and it sold for $50 shipped, and it is a size 56, so. It's like a 3XL, I think. I think 52 is 2XL or 54 or something like that. Get that 3XL down there. Oh. The elephant. <laughs> He's a baby. Next up, we've got Dumbo, guys. He's he adorable. is a 24 inch plush. He's a big boy. He just looks so cool. He's cute. He was and 10 bucks at Savers. I bought him one night when I was coming home from work. And, and then we sold him for 85 and a half shipped. Yeah, he's going to Florida though. So oh, he'll probably cost a lot. But I'm just happy he's going to a new home. He's super cool though. I think we should get one of those vacuum sealers for like big animals and stuff. Where they like... <laughs> and then you can pack it I vacuum seal my body so it'll be nice and tight. They have those. Yeah, they should get... <laughs> A bigger size for me. Let's see how it works. I'll let you guys know. Next up, we got this Ninja Water Reservoir. And these, it's just a replacement one, and it sold for $17. These do shipped. not sell that. When you buy the Ninjas, the little coffee carafes or whatever, they sell well. The little other stuff, the, the filters, glass stuff. The glass stuff and the little trays where it collects the coffee. The water reservoirs don't sell that quick. Mm -mm. Okay, next up, we've got an Xbox 360 game. This is NASCAR 2008 tested. And it did sell for. I just knocked her cookies over. I'm in trouble. Nine dollars shipped. And the cookie fell Here. out too. No, two cookies fell out. How am I supposed to eat those? It's been past five seconds, so it's up to you. Uh, in this garage, I wouldn't touch them even if it was like two seconds. 
Next up, in honor of The Matrix, the new movie coming out. Guys, gotta go see it. Um, this is my, The Matrix Path of Neo PS2 game, and it did sell for $18 shipped without the manual. So that's pretty cool. And then we've got a two-way radio by Motorola. I think for parts, yeah. Yeah, as is or for parts. Spit in there for a minute because it's super long and it barely fits in the buckets that I had it in. And it sold for $20 shipped. But if you find some of those old Motorola or the Motorola walkie-talkies, -talkie I can't even speak, walkie tossies if they're the commercial type ones that people use, you can make good money even if they're for parts of the chargers. So. Yes, master. And then we've got another shark piece, guys. This is the filter holder. Hmm. Yep. And that sold for $19 ship just on its own, which is pretty cool. You just threw that on camera. Everyone saw you just eat all the cookie crumbs. <laughs> Oh, and then nice. we've got this iPhone box, and it, I can't tell if the color's supposed to be like that or if it's just like it sat in the sun for a minute. Old. But it is an iPhone 8 Plus 64 gig gold, and it sold for $9. We don't shipped. sell the 8 Pluses that much anymore. No. Then we've got... This is from a new buy that I have that's going to be labeled because Linda gave me a hard time the last time I didn't label it. This is the, the buy. horror buy. Cameron bought a ton of horror movies. And other stuff, a couple other things too that a remnant sale. But we always label it based on the majority of the stuff in it. So, so then we've got this is our taken. first item. Look at that case, guys. This was cool. a dollar. This was a dollar. We spent like forty or something bucks that day, 30, sixty bucks. I don't know. They're the first thing to sell. And it is a six disc set right there, and it sold for thirty dollars shipped. And that sold in a couple of days, so that was awesome. I just can't get over that. Look at how pretty that is. That's really cool. I would keep it, but Psychotic. I want to make money. <laughs> and then we've got, uh, this is a Lavoie, uh, true HEPA filter. This is the lid part where you put the filter in and you do that. You have a little QR code there. Yeah. Right? So you can QR and order some filters. So that one came off of the back of it. We bought it and I thought it might work and I could replace the one that broke in the house, but it didn't work. I spent five bucks from my guy that I buy from and he already knows it worked. dollars Yeah, it's a nice thing. unit. So but like, it turns out that a lot of those have issues with the little screen or whatever. They don't get yeah. power. But the lid itself sold for $25 ship. We have a couple other parts we pulled off, so we're going to make kind of Hopefully, our money yeah. back. We're just trying to break a little bit. And then we got little, these cool Oral-B replacement heads. These are from 2014. I this mean, they're was, still going to work. This is a dollar at a garage, estate sale. I don't think they expire. No. And those sold for 11 and some change. We'll take it. Is this from Mom and Dad's house? No, it's the sure? same one that you used, oh, okay. but yeah, I got this out of garage. I was so. like, did you like steal it no, out of the garage? No, I wouldn't steal their, gosh, you think really well of me. <laughs> oh, this now, is worth a few bucks. If they get rid of it, yes, I will take this. <laughs> Actually, your dad would bring it to me because he knows we sell remotes. Yeah, so this is a genuine Kenmore air conditioner remote. Um, it pretty. did sell for $19 shipped. So that's a cute little remote and it's just easy ship, easy payment right there. Then we've got Lego Marvel. Uh, for PS4, and that one sold for $18 shipped. We spent 10 bucks on a little stack of DVDs, or 20 bucks on a stack of DVDs and PS4 games, and we've already made a bunch of money. So. Yeah, I love the Lego movie, Lego movie stuff. Lego movies, they're are fun. like fun. Yeah, I'm not sure why this even sold. Yeah, this is Microsoft Streets and Trips uh, Windows thing. It's like a software, yeah. So a trip planning software, because. Because people don't have phones with GPS on them in yeah. these days. Yeah, and it sold for 13 and some change. So. I paid a dollar. I don't know why I even bought it, but at least it sold. Hey, I made some money. Next up, we've got Sarah Milliken's book, How to Be Champion. It's from and the 350 it buy. sold for $10 shipped. One of my favorite things to sell. This is the Margaritaville Margarita Machine. This is the ice awesome reservoir. Yes, we pulled this off the top. It does have the lid and the reservoir. I spent 20 bucks on the unit. And sold this piece itself for $50 shipped. So we've already made all of our money back. It's going to cost 10 or 12 to ship that, and we have multiple pieces left. Usually the pitcher goes for like 75 to 80. Um, there's a blade well, thing that you, goes are for. Are going to pull off the, is that the one you pulled off the spout? No, that's a, that was a different. That oh, was the Margarita, but yeah, there's different. The Margarita, the Margarita, different, two different companies. But if you buy them, you can part a lot, of, or you can sell as a whole unit. But I feel like parting it out's a little better. And then we got a cute little Polaroid. The strap is broken on this guy. It is a Spirit 600, and it did sell for 19 and a half shipped. You guys are wondering, we ship these in a pad of flat rate. Bubble wrap them, put in a pad of flat rate. It's usually the it's usually the cheapest. Nice. Yeah, we're not gonna make a ton on that one, but at least it's getting out of here. Yep. And then we've got this reel to reel. 
Uh, it is Paul Revere and the Raiders. Something happening. It is a rare one, and it sold for forty dollars. Which is pretty shipped. good. Forty bucks for a reel to reel is pretty good on most of them. A lot of times we don't sell that them. That rare might mean something. I paid a dollar. Ooh, this guy's awesome. This guy's cute. So this is an actual Star Wars plush. This is Tebow the Ewok from the Disney Park Store. He is a retired he is edition. Could have been a good From 2016. Investment. And he did sell for $72 shipped. You know what I paid for this guy? Take a guess. 50 cents. No. Dollar. $10. I, the guy knew what he had. He got a bunch of Star Wars stuff, and I we sold we sold another one of these guys similar to him, another Ewok. We sold him already. Yeah. And then we sold the little what's that other thing? The little uh, is it a band? I don't remember. Mm. Another plush for like thirty five. We spent twenty five on all three plush, and this was the last one. But I, mean, I looked them up, and he was valuable. They're cute though. And Normally I wouldn't tags. spend ten, but he was cool looking. No. Uh, next up, we got a Hitachi oh. battery charger. This is actually from the horror buy. It just I didn't update the thing this one was two or three dollars at the horror buy rummage sale and it sold for 25 ships we've sold this exact one before and yeah. next we've got size the end of exercise it's a dvd set um and it sold for 15 dollars shipped that one we did not put beach body in the title which i've told you guys many times Don't so beach body or in the item description or in yeah. the item specifics. From the old book buy that was 50 bucks, it's like our third book to sell. We might finally have broken even now, we're close to it. This is Lucky Baldwin by CB Glasscock. And it sold <clears throat> for $22 shipped. Okay. And then we've got a B-Tech amp for VHF. We have a bunch of these. These came from the old... Uh, <laughs> Who knows what it is? It's a radio, radio amplifier. The radio equipment buy. We sold a bunch of it already. You guys have seen it. Go out if you've been watching. These are all we have left, and we have a stack of them. And this one sold for $85 We're in the profits. If we sell them all for $85, we'll be well, well in the profits. So. And then we got a cool Abbott and Costello jersey. I think this is number five jersey that we sold. No, I think it's six. Six? Yeah. Oh, okay. And this sold for $30 shipped. We spent two bucks. We sold them all for 30. We only spent two, so it's kind of good. And we got some cute Kenneth Cole men's boots, size 11, sold for $35. These were five or six bucks. Someone kept offering me $4 shipped. <laughs> they were married, they're like, $4, $5, $5.50. And I'm like, nope, nope, nope. Anyways. And then our last sale right now, we're hoping to get some more in, but this is our last one. This is the big picture on the origins of life, meaning, and the universe This is from the 350 buy as well. And it sold for eight and some change. So that's what $1,400 looks like in, uh, you know, goods for our eBay business. We did a $25 shirt sale that I spent a dollar on, but they haven't paid, of course. Yeah. That would have been good. We have an hour and 45 left, though, I think. Someone's going to come through and buy something. So we'll be able to. Linda break will be back. That 1400. She'll be back with something else to show you, hopefully. We're going to get all this packed up, and I'm working on cleaning some video games, and then we will see. She'll see you if there's anything else, and if not, we both will see you back on Monday with what sells. Okay. Take care. Bye bye.